Well, good morning again. It's Monday, April the 13th, and we have just come off of an incredible uh, Easter weekend. Uh, obviously, the most unusual Easter weekend uh, of, of any of our lifetimes. And uh, I saw churches uh, literally all over this region and all, really all over the country and the world um, doing Easter in unusual ways, trying to be creative, trying to uh, minister to the needs of their people, and uh, certainly that was uh, something that we tried to accomplish here yesterday uh, with our first ever drive-in service. Many of you participated in that, and I just want to take a moment to say thank you for coming, uh, how it did my heart good uh, to see you. And uh, even if it was just a real quick wave as you were driving by, exiting the parking lot, what a blessing it was uh, to have so many folks uh, once again on our property yesterday as we celebrated uh, our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. And of course, uh, in a time of so much turmoil, uh, the resurrection really becomes that much more um, special and important to us because it guarantees a better day. No matter, no matter whether we see that better day here on this earth or not, uh, we know a better day is coming and we rejoice in that. I want to do something a little unusual this week. And I, I want to just kind of just share my heart with you over the next several days. Um, and, and I want to start here in Philippians uh, chapter number one. And uh, in, the first, uh, in the first chapter of Philippians, Paul, as he normally does, he's, he's greeting the church. And uh, he normally starts his books out the same way and he ends his books the same way by greeting folks and, uh, and thanking God for uh, just, again, the ministry that the various folks in the various churches had towards him and towards his ministry. And he says in verse number three of Philippians chapter one, he says, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. And uh, I just want you to know, uh, church family and, and believers, brothers and sisters in Christ that have, have uh, encouraged me during this time, uh, that you're, the very thought of you and your family, uh, and, and I'm speaking specifically of our church family because that's the, uh, the, the paradigm that I'm operating in the most, but uh, I just want you to know that, uh, that, that in some respects you have gotten me through this time. Uh, just thinking about you and uh, being um, and, and being reminded of you, hearing from so many of you through texts and and phone calls and emails and and even commenting on these videos uh, has been such a blessing to me. And so over the next five days, uh, each day of this week uh, of the of the of the work week, I, I want to share with you um, just just some just some thoughts that I have regarding our church and some things that I'm thankful for. Paul wrote to the Church of Philippi says, "I thank my God upon every remembrance of you." And I got to thinking, you know, when I think of the Cleveland Baptist Church, you know, what, 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 do I, what, what am I thankful for? And, uh, and, and I'm, su I'm supposing you could probably do the exact same thing. And uh, most of you, perhaps, you know my story and you know my testimony. Uh, but really, it was, it was through this church that I, uh, that I came to know Christ and, uh, and, and that I was, I was taught certain things. Obviously, I grew up in a Christian home, uh, but this church played such an important and a vital role in my life and in the life of my family. And I'm reminded of 2 Timothy chapter 3 at verse number 15 where the Bible says in that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures. And as I stand here in my office, I think to myself just down the hall, uh, out this door, uh, I can remember uh, being, being taught songs uh, about the Bible and about Jesus. And I can remember Sunday school teachers that I had. Some of them are still serving faithfully in this church. Some of them in the very same classes uh, that I was in. And, uh, and I can remember sitting in their classrooms and, and, and watching them as they opened this book, the Bible, and as they taught me the Holy Scriptures. Um, many of you know my family's testimony, and you know that um, when Dr. Roy Thompson came to Cleveland, Ohio in the late 1950s, now, the, one of the first families that he impacted was the Folger family. Obviously, I wasn't around for that, uh, and, uh, and I, I just heard the stories. Uh, but, I, but I recognize that I am where I am today uh, because of godly, of godly men and women in this church who loved my family and ministered to the Folger family, starting with my great-grandfather, a man that I never met, and then my grandfather, and obviously then my dad and, and his sisters, and, and just a whole host of other family members that were touched by the Cleveland Baptist Church. Some of them were already saved. They knew the Lord as their Savior, but this church enabled them to, uh, to have a better foundation of Bible doctrine and, uh, and, and for their uh, faith to be a little bit, maybe a little bit more serious to them than, than perhaps it had been before. And so as I was thinking this morning, I thank my God upon every remembrance of this church. And at the top of the list, I thank, I thank God that it was through this church 
that the Folger family was reached. It was through this church that I, as a little boy, and my brothers were taught, uh, taught this book and uh, sang the songs and were taught to, to, to love the Lord and to love one another and, uh, and to love the church, to love preaching and teaching of the Word of God, to love giving and to love serving. Uh, boy, we, we uh, as, as young boys, had opportunities to be parts of bus routes and to go door knocking and work in a nursing home ministry and serve and smite him. And so I, I thank my God uh, for every remembrance of the Cleveland Baptist Church because it was in this place uh, that I, uh, from a child, began to know and to learn the Holy Scriptures. And I thank God for that. And so over the next several days, I'm going to share with you just some different things that I'm thankful about our church. Uh, many of them will be about people in our church, uh, and, and I probably won't use specific names, but, uh, but just in generalities, ways that I've seen <clears throat> our church ministry, uh, minister and, and love one another and serve one another. And, uh, and so I hope it'll be a blessing to you, uh, and I want it to be, because this church has been such a blessing to me and to my family. And truly, I thank God upon every remembrance of this church and how God has worked in my life. I hope you can say the same about your church. I hope that as you think about it, you miss it during times like this, and uh, and that it becomes that much more dear and special to you. Hey, listen, I hope you have a great Monday. Uh, I'm praying for you. Uh, I'm here to minister to you if I can. I'd love to hear from you. You can do so by commenting on this video, or uh, you can send me an email, pastor at clevelandbaptist.org. And again, I'd love to hear from you. Hey, let's have a word of prayer as we finish up today. Father, thank you for this good day. Truly, Lord, I do thank you. Uh, I thank you for how you've used this church and this ministry. I'm speaking specifically the Cleveland Baptist Church. And I can think of hundreds of individuals over my lifetime that have been a part of this church who have touched me. Some of them are still with us, uh, serving here faithfully. Some of them have moved on to other places, serving in other places. Some of them have, have graduated unto glory and how we miss them, but yet we, we thank the Lord for the memories that we have with them. Lord, I pray that you would continue to use the Cleveland Baptist Church, uh, that, Lord, through us, many, many will look back and say that it was from a child that they were taught the Holy Scriptures here in this church, and that we taught them in the right way. Uh, Lord, that we did not manipulate them, uh, Lord, to, to, to uh, believe things that are perhaps not in this book, but that we simply taught them the Bible. Oh, Lord, we can never go wrong by just opening this book and, and, and teaching and preaching, Thus saith the Lord. Help us, Lord, to be faithful to do that. And Lord, may you help us in the days to come uh, to reach new individuals. I'm thinking of uh, men and women, teenagers and boys and girls that are outside the walls of this church, have never been on the property here at 4431 Tiedemann Road. May you help us in the days to come to reach them, to love them, uh, Lord, to serve them, and to share the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ with them. Lord, we don't know how long we have. We believe our time is short. And so, Lord, help us to be passionate about sharing the gospel with those that we come in contact with. Bless those that are watching this video today. Would you encourage them? Would you give them strength for this week and the days that lie ahead? In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Again, if this has been a blessing to you, share it with others. God bless you. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow.